Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ghouls, it's time for below grade level. Listener beware, you're in for a scare. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Below Grade Level, the show where we take the books that we read as kids and read them as adults and ruin them. I'm one of your hosts, Jonathan Eaton. With me as always, Becca Eaton and Chris Alasky. Hello. That's pretty appropriate, Chris, as a greeting, because we have entered spooky season. What? And to help us kick off spooky season is a returning champion guest, uh, Joe Marshall. (laughs) Woo! (laughs) So spooky. (laughs) Hi. How you doing, Joe? Hi. Um, great. I'm um doing like a a real moss girl summer. You guys know about moss girl summer? No. They Is don't. that where you um, hide in the woods and let things grow over you? Yes. That's you lay incredible. on the forest floor and yeah. get reclaimed by nature. Yeah. Yeah. No girl like boss, girl moss. The dream. <laughs> I like how it started out with like hot girl summer and we've like gradually shifted into like it, I, at one point <laughs> I feel like everything. it was like <laughs> like like witchy yeah. girl summer and like let's all and now it's just like let's go in the woods and die girl yeah. summer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> let's romanticize disappearing into yeah. nothingness. Yeah. Look, I'm disappearing. Step into a fairy ring and disappear. I'd love to yeah. be unreachable <laughs> for a couple of days. <laughs> Cheers to that. Uh, sorry, we all drank at the same time, so there was dead yep, air. That was awkward. Uh, it was awkward. It was super awkward. Well, Great Joe, minds. guess what? Great minds. <laughs> you are um, our number uh, number one first guest for a new book, which means you get Holy to pick shit. the book that we are reading for the next couple episodes. I'm I'm indecisive. I'm a Libra rising, <laughs> and I don't uh-huh. feel that I'm equipped to shoulder such responsibility. <laughs> I'm going to give you four choices. I feel like it's super obvious which one to pick. But Uh honestly, like, I say that only because I'm crazy and there's one that I love. uh, And you want to make the choice harder? No, no, no. Uh, (laughs) There's no wrong choices. Any of these are going to be winners. So let's go ahead. Oh, God, no. What did I do? What did I do? I opened teams. teams? What? I didn't know you even had teams. Neither did I. Don't even say teams to me. Can you stop teams? Now I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You might as well go to work. Okay. Ugh. All right. Whoa. Choice number one. Goosebumps, the haunted mask. Are you gonna make I wasn't sure. You yeah. were just quiet. No, okay. no, no, I was being was... quiet. All right. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know if I <laughs> choice, was waiting. <laughs> choice number one is Goosebumps, uh, the haunted mask. Choice Set. number two, Goosebumps, ghost beach. Ooh. Cho- <laughs> choice number three, Goosebumps, welcome to Camp Nightmare. And choice number four, yeah, that's right, Goosebumps, Night of the Living Dummy. <gasps> oh. And one of these is like an obvious standout to you? W- one no. of them is just one that John wants to do really bad. It's not obvious to anyone it's else. It's not obvious to anyone okay. else. I realized that when just... I said it, and I was just like, wait, no one else is you. <laughs> <laughs> Only you're um, you. Um, I'm me? <laughs> I, I definitely... My second runner up was Ghost Beach because uh-huh. it sounds like a mm-hmm. cool hipster alternative like shoegaze <laughs> rock band. And uh-huh. like, I love that. Um, but I think Night of the Living Dummy is what I'm going for because Fantastic. I think I remember reading this. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I don't remember what I did last week, but I have an association with like, I think that I actually read this one as a kid. Yeah. It like hit it hit in my in my heart, in my soul. That's exciting. That really, honestly, that is the right guess or right guess. Right. Well, yeah, this one's so classic <laughs> because it's classic. Right? Um, yes. It is also weirdly it's like the stereotypical goosebumps. We were going in order with goosebumps. We were reading them all like in order from like number one on. This is the next one. Oh shit! This is actually like the next one after the last goosebumps book we read, which was literally years ago. Like holy years shit! Ago. Yeah, we've well, been doing this a long time. Was the one I thought with the one I love and we're gonna do it some place just ghost beach because it's just called ghost so, beach <laughs> okay yeah right because the title fucking slaps like yeah. irrefutably yeah that's very very cool and alternative and i love Hang it on but it. the title what slaps that's the name of the fucking dummy Slap- the name wow. is slappy is it's this not. the it is oh my god what is this cover <laughs> oh this is like a different 
Um, I don't is this care like for a, that. A European cover or like? A, no, I think it's just like a reprint. You know. Boo. Ew. Yeah, boo indeed. Jake's. So this is the seventh Goosebumps book of all time. Is that what it says? Yes. Number seven. Yeah, that's yeah. what the other screen said. So we've so we've read six six Goosebumps. Um, and that short stories one or yes. the, the choose your own adventure. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. It was so um, hard to kill ourselves. <laughs> it was um, shockingly hard. I want to tell a real quick story uh, the, about the dummy in this mm. book that we, I don't even know when we're going to get to him, but the dummy's name is Slappy. Um, wow. I had, I think I still have a Goosebumps t-shirt that just says Goosebumps. It's the, it's the cover of this book. So it says Goosebumps and it's just the picture of the fucking dummy. I was in Target um, like returning something. I was like standing over by their customer service desk and I was waiting for someone to go and like get something for me or something. I was waiting on someone from Target. So I'm just standing at the front of the store. And this guy walks up to me and he says, what do you know about Slappy? <laughs> and, and I said, what? And he said, what do you know about Slappy? And I was like, wow. What? Like, I was like, I have to be hearing him wrong. He didn't. Maybe it's, that's maybe not what it's he's because I'm a woman, but my first thought would be that that's some sort of horrible euphemism and I'm about yes. to get like assaulted in some <laughs> way. Yes. That's definitely, yeah, for sure. Um, I did not like remember that the fucking dummy's name was Slappy and let alone that I was even wearing a fucking goosebump shirt. I just like this guy comes up to me and says, what you know about Slappy? And like after a couple back and forth, he's like, he points at my shirt and he's just like, Slappy. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I like this shirt. I was like, I don't know. And then this motherfucker just starts talking about not just Slappy, but like every inanimate horror movie like doll or thing. So he's just like, Slappy's crazy. Like Slappy does all this other stuff. Uh, but also there's Annabelle. Annabelle's, Annabelle's super scary. And Chucky, you can't trust Chucky. He just starts going down the <laughs> fucking line Chucky. of like all of them. And I was just standing there like, I... I need to leave. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. And I just stood there and like nodded at him for a really long time until he, I think, just eventually kind of like walked away because I like wasn't having a conversation with him. I'm just glad it happened to you instead of me. <laughs> oh, I wish it happened to you. I wish it yeah. happened to you while I was that there. That shit so I happens to me constantly. So I I'm not even like wearing a graphic you. tee. They you just, just have think. one of those faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just have one of those know about slappy faces. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't quite the it wasn't quite the thing that guys do when you're wearing like a band tee and they come up and and like scream yeah. at you to name like five like, of name one songs song, off yeah. the record. Like, like if they were trying to <laughs> monsters, if they were trying to <laughs> fuck me, me five, things about five other slappy. horror movie and animate objects that come to life. Tell if me they, five if, things about slap. If they were trying to fuck me, I'd at least then understand. Mostly it's just interactions <laughs> with strangers where I'm just like, why did they even initiate the conversation? Yeah. How sure are you that they're not trying to fuck you, though? That's a, That's very a good, good point. point. You don't know. So well, there was that one I'll guy after we got Greek food that. that just started asking me if I knew who Cassius Clay was. Was that the guy where I straight up left you in the middle <laughs> yeah, of the crosswalk? You guys just kept walking. <laughs> and it was in Hamden. How was that room, yeah, Don't talk to strangers. Yeah. It's like the number one I rule. I really try not. I blame my Santa cheeks. You Santa you cheeks. You look friendly. Yeah. You look jolly. Yeah. I'm just so damn affable looking. And I really wish I was. <laughs> You gotta to look work like on a your bitch like me. Bitch face. People, yeah, <laughs> you need to get that bitch face. <laughs> get that bitch face on. <laughs> Although I did have that one woman come up and show me her bullet, bullet wound, yeah, in a Royal Farms, and I still don't know how that conversation even started. Of course, it was in a Royal Farms. <laughs> it was in the Royal Farms. Yeah, the, the one in Hampton, original right? The, Royal the Farms original Royal in Farms. Hampton. That's Wait. where someone offered me acid one night while we were doing karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> The original Royal Farms is in Hamden. That's their, that's their corporate, corporate headquarters. headquarters I think. 
Wow. And, like, no one knows that. And every time I tell them that, I say, that's why the building's so big. Well, it's not that interesting. It's not that fact. interesting. It's just like. It's not weird to I, not I know it. I said, wow. And, I, and I'm, I'm impressed. I'm going to run to my husband and tell him that as soon as we're gone. She's just like part- bang on the door and be like, I don't care how sick you are. I got to tell you about the first Royal Farms. <laughs> A part of me was like, oh, man, what if we have out-of-state listeners? And then I was like, no, they're on the show today. So I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Zing on us. To all our fans in Scandinavia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, how great would that be? If like some great. small European country, for some reason, we were a hit. I'd love That'd it. That'd be it, awesome. It could happen. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start. Let's, let's read Night of the Living Dummy, Goosebumps by R.L. Stein. Chapter one. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Chris Powell struggled to get her twin sister's attention. Lindy, Lindy, Lindy Powell, Lindy Powell glanced up from the book she was reading to see what the problem was. Instead of her sister's pretty face, Lindy saw a round pink bubble nearly the size of Chris's head. Nice one, Lindy said without much enthusiasm. With a sudden move, she poked the bubble and popped it. Hey! Chris cried as the pink bubble gum exploded onto her cheeks and chin. Lindy laughed. <laughs> gotcha. Chris angrily. Why does Lindy sound like that? I don't know. One of them's got to be, you know, low. Distinguishable. Lower. Sure. Distinguishable. <laughs> yeah. um, Chris angrily grabbed Lindsay's paperback and Lindy. slammed. Nope. Li- nope. Fuck. Nope. Every. Oh, God. Get ready for that. Every fucking page. <laughs> Chris angrily grabbed Lindy's. I feel like Lindy's the name of, like, a president's wife from a hundred years ago. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, cool. Linda like, what Lindy is Lindy Johnson. short for? Melinda? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You call Bel- her Mel. Belinda? Belinda. A buddy of mine's little sister's know, named it. Lindy. I haven't encountered really? it in the wild. Is Ooh, she yeah, I, inhabited by name? the ghost of a Victorian girl? <laughs> uh, not that I'm aware of. Not that you know of. One can only hope. <laughs> Chris angrily grabbed Lindy's paperback and slammed it shut. Whoops! Lost your place! She exclaimed. She knew her sister... That hit Chris right in the heart. She knew her sister hated to lose her place (laughs) in a book. (laughs) Who doesn't hate to lose your place? That would piss anybody off. I love losing my place in a book. (laughs) Although I am fucking crazy. I often don't use bookmarks. Why? What do you do? You just close your book? Yeah, sometimes. You just remember you where page, you left off. Do you fold the pages? Off. Yeah, you need to. No, explain. I don't fold the pages because that would ruin the pages. I just flip. I, I open it back up and I flip through, and I'm like, I think this is where it was. Why? Why? That's psychotic. Why? Yeah, I, you're I didn't, crazy. I knew you we wouldn't. have, first of all, knew, so many actual bookmarks. I knew Second you of all, like it. you can grab a napkin. You can grab a pencil. Yeah. You put anything in there. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. Oh, God, don't. John. <laughs> Lindy grabbed the book back with a scowl. Chris struggled to pull the pink gum off her face. Chris struggled to understand Jonathan. <laughs> we yeah. all do. Well, that's not going to fucking change anytime soon. <laughs> that was the biggest bubble I ever blew, she said angrily. The gum wasn't coming off her chin. I've blown much bigger than that. <laughs> Lindy, oh fuck, I did it. Send with a superior sneer. I don't believe you two, their mother muttered, making her way into their bedroom and dropping a neatly folded pile of laundry at the foot of Chris's bed. Her mother's like, please, I'm the blow queen. You, <laughs> <laughs> you even compete over bubble gum. We're not I mean, competing. if she was, she wouldn't have had to put up with her daughters. <laughs> We're not competing, Lindy muttered. She tossed back her blonde ponytail and returned her eyes to her book. Both girls had straight blonde hair. But Lindy kept hers long, usually tying it behind her head or on one side in a ponytail, of course. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was the style at the time. <laughs> and Chris had hers cut very short. It was a way for people to tell the twins apart, for they were nearly identical in every other way. Was that for heads? Sorry. <laughs> was that for way? John's trying to tell me to get closer by not interrupting me, and then I interrupted myself. No, it's okay. It was weird what this, I did with my hands. Is this better? Yes. It was a way for people to tell the twins apart, for they were nearly identical in every other way. 
Both had broad foreheads and oh. round blue eyes. <laughs> nice, big foreheads. Both, both had five heads. Those both poor had children. dimples in their cheeks when they smiled. Both blushed easily, large pink circles forming on their pale cheeks. What? <laughs> They've got big heads, big pale heads with red cheeks. They are very inbred. <laughs> God. Both thought their noses were a little too wide. Oh. Both wished they were a little taller. Lindy's best friend, Alice, was nearly three inches taller, even though she hadn't turned 12 yet. Did I get it all off? Chris asked, rubbing her chin, which was red and sticky. Ooh. Not all, Lindy told her, gl- glancing up. There's some in your hair. Oh, great, Chris muttered. She grabbed at her hair but couldn't find any bubble gum. Gotcha again, Lindy said, laughing. Ha ha ha, you're too easy. <laughs> Chris uttered an angry growl. Why are you always so mean to me? That's Chris is my normal speaking voice. <laughs> me? Mean? Lindy looked up in wide-eyed innocence. I'm an angel. Ask anyone. Exasperated, Chris turned back to her mother, who was stuffing socks into a dresser drawer. Mother, when am I, when am I going to get my own room? <laughs> On the 12th of never, Mrs. Powell replied, grinning. Good Chris one. groaned. Good one. That's what you always say. Her mother shrugged. You know we don't have a spare inch, Chris. She turned to the bedroom window. Bright sunlight streamed through the filmy curtains. It's a beautiful day. What are you two doing inside? <clears throat> Mom, we're not little girls, Lindy said, rolling her eyes. We're 12. We're too old to go out and play. Did I Wrong. get it all? You could go into the woods and pretend to be witches. Right? <laughs> yeah. We have important business to do in the, in the house. Did I get it all, Chris asked again, still scraping pink patches of bubble gum off her chin. <laughs> Leave it. It improves your complexion, Lindy told her. I wish you girls yeah, would be nicer to each other, Mrs. Powell said with a sigh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. They suddenly heard shrill barking coming from downstairs. Oh, good. What's Barky excited about <laughs> now? Barking? come on now. Fuck now. off. Now. Fuck now off, Arlstein. Hey, what's Doggy the dog so upset about? <laughs> that is the laziest <laughs> shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh fuck! I can't wait for this dog to be a red herring a hundred times. Oh my god! Is it? Do I? Am I? Do I go now? We, yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Mrs. Powell fretted. The little black terrier was always barking about something. Why not take Barky for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Uh, Don't feel like it. Lindy muttered, nose in her book. What about those beautiful new bikes you got for your... What about those beautiful new bikes you got for your birthday, Mrs. Powell said, hands on hips. Those bikes you just couldn't live without. You know, the ones that have been sitting in the garage since you got them. Okay, Not to okay. guilt trip or anything. Right. I spent an awful <laughs> lot of money on those bikes. They're Swedens. <laughs> you don't have to be sarcastic, you bitch, Lindy said, closing her book. She stood up, stretched, and tossed the book onto her bed. You want to? Chris asked Lindy. Want to what? Go, John scrolling. And now I can't. Uh, you want to what? Go for a bike ride. <laughs> we can. That was seamless. Smooth. Go for a bike Smooth. ride. Yeah. We could ride to the playground and see if anyone's hanging out at school. I love going to school in my spare time. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to see if Robbie is there. Lindy said, making a face. Ooh, Miss Robbie. So Chris said, blushing, go on now, get some fresh air, Mrs. Powell urged. I'll see you later. I'm off to the supermarket. (laughs) I don't know. I don't. Chris peered into the dresser mirror. Chris peered into the dresser mirror. She had gotten... Sorry, I had to do a loud swallow in the middle of a sentence. That was really pleasant Chris. to so listen did to. Mrs. Powell. She, <laughs> she had gotten most of the gum off. She How, brushed her sh- short hair back. Gum would like She's, get that if much. If you up. had like a, like a few pieces of hubba bubba, uh-huh. you could probably do it. Hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. Okay. Hubba bubba. I it sounds sounds like Becca knows what she's talking about. It does. She brushed her short hair back with both hands. Come on, let's go out, she said. Last one out is a rotten last one out is a rotten egg. Classic. Mm-hmm. She darted to the doorway, beating her sister by half a step. As they burst out the back door with Barky yipping shrilly behind them, the afternoon sun 
was high in a cloudless sky. The air was still and dry. It felt Ooh, more like like moss girl summer than spring. <laughs> <laughs> Both girls were wearing shorts and sleeveless t-shirts. Uh, Lindy bent to pull open the garage door, then stopped. The house next door caught her eye. Look, they've got the walls up, she told Chris. Uh, oh, wait, I did the wrong voice. Look, they've got the walls up, she told Chris, pointing across their backyard. What walls? Uh... What does that, that mean? New, that new house is going up so quickly. Oh, I guess they're building That's a house. That's not the oh. what, what? noises you were doing before. Right? What? Okay. <clears throat> Lindy was lower before. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm just It's saying. amazing. Is that... Wait, Lindy's Lindy was lower low. before? You were Lindy's doing Lindy yeah. lower. Okay, guys. They're twins. I'm it's having trouble. pronounced Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so which one? Oh, wait. Chris is the annoying one. So I don't I did, think mm-hmm. she's annoying. Sure I think she am. just wants to play. That's what you sure do. What? She's the one who slammed the book shut. Yeah, her sister was being a bitch, ignoring her. <laughs> <laughs> and Team Chris. Team, okay, shit. Lines are drawn. Um, that, uh, 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 Chris is, the, fuck, I forget already. That new house is going up so quickly. It's amazing. I can't do voices yet. Not until we get a better sense of their personality. Chris said, following oh, her sister's the gaze. The builders had knocked down the old house during the winter. The new concrete foundation had been put down in March. Lindy and Chris had walked around on it when no workers were there. I get it. I did that when I was a kid, too. Trying to figure out where the different rooms would go. Playing with power tools, throwing nails at each other, falling down dark holes. And now the walls had been built. The construction suddenly looked like a real house rising up in the midst of tall stacks of lumber, a big mound of red brown dirt, a pile of concrete blocks, and an assortment of power saws, tools, and machinery all left out for people to steal. No one's working today, Lindy said. Want to steal some power tools? (laughs) They took a few, uh, few steps toward the new house. What do you think? Who do you think will move in? Or what? Chris wondered. Or what? Foreshadowing. Maybe... Maybe some great-looking guy our age. You know, 11. <laughs> Maybe some great-looking 12-year-old <laughs> guy. Are they 12 or 11? 12. 12. Oh, 12. Didn't say 12? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, their friend was not yet 12, right? So, but I don't know. Have we established their their ages? Not... I don't know. Does it matter? Well, no, it matters. It matters. <laughs> it matters. <laughs> Yeah, it matters. We're 12. Oh, oh we're they 12. did say okay. we're 12. Oh. Okay. All right, yeah, they're 12. They're too old to wow. play outside, but they're not too old to say last one out is a rad nick. Right. Um, but they 12. are too young to... to <laughs> they're too to young to be clock. guys. Yeah. Maybe some great-looking guy our age. Maybe great-looking twin guys. Ew. Twins. They're into it, too. I don't twin. You see this. I don't understand the whole twin, like, twin thing. Mm-mm. Like... Wanting to date twins, like to, because it's it's incesty, isn't it? Like if oh, it's I, I mean, very incesty. It's super you know, incesty. like I don't. No one should I, be like, I, you're. I don't know. I don't like it. No, it's gross. It's weird. That's all. I've never yeah. understood the guys who are like uh, and twins. Like yeah, right? well, yeah. You know, because like uh, there's two of them. I made two people right? basically do incest. <laughs> I disappointed me? two people instead of one person. <laughs> and I can't and find two. <laughs> yeah, I can't find two women that look similar enough. They have to have this you matching think they talk about genetic material. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, so Chris and, yes. Lindy, Chris and Lindy are horny for twins. Yeah, Chris and Lindy. And are also twins. Yeah. And it's weird. That's also like, like, and they're 12. A lot of people don't know, but that's the only people that twins can uh, date is other twins. <laughs> Oh man, yes. I didn't know That's that. That's so long. difficult. Yeah, yeah you broke it. Now. Yeah, technically our marriage doesn't count. <laughs> all right, because oh. I'm not a twin. <laughs> all right, Good to know. that you know. Jesus, of. <laughs> I don't like the way she said that. I was making a joke, but now I feel hurt. <laughs> it's almost like it was something you shouldn't have joked about. <laughs> <laughs> um, yuck! Lindy learned. made a disgusted face. <laughs> twin guys, how drippy can you get? Gross, gross. Phrasing. I can't believe you and I are in the same family. Chris was used to Lindy's sarcasm. That wasn't sarcasm. 
sarcasm. Was it? It wasn't sarcasm. Yeah. Both girls liked being twins and hated being twins at the same time. Can you relate to this? I don't think I ever really liked being twins. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Um, <laughs> they're just, like... I like my sister, but there wasn't a benefit to being twins. But we, also, we were fraternal as shit. Yeah, you were identical. And we grew up when the Olsen twins were a thing. Yeah. And they were always, like, switching places, and we couldn't do that. Yeah. And we couldn't do anything twin-related. You were resentful. None of the hijinks. I was very resentful. We couldn't do any Olsen hijinks. You would look You would look at her and be like, what's the fucking point? Yeah. <laughs> we don't even look like we're related. No one believes that we're twins. <laughs> All the shared shared... birthday, none of the fun. (laughs) Yeah. Because they shared nearly everything. Their looks, their clothing, their room. They were closer than most sisters ever get. Yeah, we shared a room and that was it of that list. And sisters usually don't share rooms. That's super... Yeah, that's, that's reserved for twins. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. Specifically twins. You I must be twins. All media is always just like twins share a special connection. Yeah. Like like any other sibling. Like, do you it's know just how like... many times we tried to be psychic and it didn't fucking work? <laughs> just so <sighs> many times. That's, yeah, that's, that's so only identical twins. So yeah, fraternal yeah. twins yeah. can't. Uh, <clears throat> that makes sense. <laughs> can't tell the about to communicate. Out. Yeah, you never <laughs> look up from a video game you're playing and go. She's in trouble in Boston. (laughs) (laughs) That's a long drive. And then you go back to play the video games. (laughs) Uh, Because they were so much alike, they also managed to drive each other crazy a lot of the time. No one's around. Let's check out the new house, Lindy said. Chris followed her across the yard. A squirrel halfway up the wide trunk of a maple tree watched them warily. I'm sure that's really fucking important that we mentioned the squirrel. Can't wait for that squirrel to come back. They made their way through an opening in the low shrubs that divided the two yards. Then, walking past the stacks of lumber and the tall mound of dirt, they climbed the concrete stoop. A sheet of heavy plastic had been nailed over the opening where the front door would go. Chris pulled one end of the plastic up and they slipped into the house. It was dark and cool inside and had a fresh wood smell. The plaster walls were up but hadn't been painted. Careful, Lindy warned. Nails. Plaster? This is like 93, 94. They were using drywall. Oh my I god. We should probably just stop reading this book. Yeah, just throw <laughs> it in the trash. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this <laughs> device in the trash. Mm. Uh, caref- uh, nails, etc. <laughs> careful of the nails, etc. She pointed to the large nails scattered over the floor. If you step on one, you'll get locked on and die. Jesus. You wish, Chris said. Is this before they had a, the Tdap vaccination? Yeah. <laughs> Look, they yes. can't afford them to have separate rooms. They obviously can't afford tetanus shots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to die, Lindy replied. <sighs> Just get lockjaw. She oh, snickered. Damn. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> yeah. Twin Chris, burn. Lindy's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Ha yes, ha. Team Chris. <laughs> team Chris. Ha ha, Chris said sarcastically. This must be the living room, she said, making her way carefully across the front room to the fireplace against the back wall. A cathedral ceiling, Lindy said, staring up at the dark, exposed wooden beams above their heads. Neat. Or maybe it just isn't finished yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe Dude. there's no floor up there yet. Also, I don't think when I was 12, I knew the term cathedral ceiling. I was going to say Lindy. the same exact thing. Yeah. <laughs> Lindy She'd might be like, dream of being lentil. an architect. Lindy She's a bitch, but she, she knows her architecture. Yeah. She knows her structural terms. Mm-hmm. This is bigger than our living room, Chris remarked, peering out the large picture window to the street. It smells great, Lindy said, taking a deep breath. <sighs> All the sawdust. It smells so piney. They made their way through the hall and explored the kitchen. Are those wires on? Chris asked, pointing to a cluster of black electrical wires suspended from the ceiling beams. Why don't you touch one and find out, Lindy suggested. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I am you Team first, Lindy. Chris shot I'm Team Lindy, yeah. You're such a bitch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the kitchen isn't very big, Lindy said, bending down to stare into the holes where the kitchen cabinets would go. She stood up and was about down? to suggest they check out the upstairs when she heard Why a sound. We, like holes in the ground? Yeah, I, d- I didn't understand that point, and okay. I didn't want to get caught up That's fine. We can diving into it. <laughs> she stood up and was about to suggest <laughs> they check out the upstairs when she heard a sound. Huh? Her eyes widened in surprise. Is someone in here? 
Chris froze in the middle of the kitchen. They both listened. Silence. Uh, dude, when when were these books written? Ish? Like early nineties. I think this said ninety three. Yeah. Ninety three. This is like such ninety three kid behavior. Like yeah. just break breaking and entering to oh, like a job yeah. site with yeah. like just I, live <laughs> wires and rust emails. Like I a nickel for literally every time did, I did this. That shit. <laughs> yeah. They were yeah. built. They, so they, did I. I would have only been seven. There was um. But I didn't. I didn't. Well. Do, I didn't do bad stuff when I was a kid. You were a good kid. I was a, I was mostly a good kid, but I was sneakily also a bad kid. But yeah, there was a, they were building a house behind my house. There was just like basically a, a big empty lot with a tree in it for most of my childhood. And then they sold it and tore down the tree and built a house. And there was no fence at the time between our backyard and that yard. So just, I'd just walk over there and just look th- like when the construction workers left and just went into the house. It was really fucking dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Is I've, it a good I... climbing tree? Um, no. It was like a giant oh. oak tree. So like well, then it fuck was that tree. Huge. No, not fu- no, that tree. I was pissed when they took that tree down cuz it was like it was a wise tree. Yeah, it was a really huge old tree. It was I don't oh, know. Oh, you didn't say it. Hundred old. or more. What? <laughs> I was it's thinking huge. it was a young tree. It's a huge young tree. <laughs> It's a young that tree happen. that's huge. It can happen. That can Some happen. trees. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds sexy. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Weirdly specific <laughs> argument. I, anyway, I, yeah. I, I, I didn't break into active new construction. I just broke into a lot of. Uh, abandoned abandoned structures not when I was 7 or 12 but when I was a teenager and and I guess by then it wasn't actually the 90s but close enough we didn't have cell phones and (laughs) none of our parents none of our parents knew where we were and we could have all died so many Mm -hmm. times very easily hooray being latchkey kids yay the lawless the lawless map quest times Mm -hmm. Um, like if it wasn't on the directions I printed out then I'm fucked (laughs) <laughs> oh, I remember that. Is or it if you miss a turn? Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. Well, then, then it's over. It's over for you. Is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, all right. They heard soft, rapid footsteps close by, inside the house. Let's go, Lindy whispered. Chris was already ducking under the plastic, heading out the doorway opening. She leaped off the back stoop and started running toward their backyard. Lindy stopped at the bottom of the stoop and turned back to the new house. Hey, look, she called. The squirrel's back. The squirrel. Oh, shit. Check squirrel. <laughs> Check off squirrel. squirrel. A squirrel came <laughs> flying out a side window as if it had been <laughs> punted. It landed on the dirt with all four feet moving and scrambled toward the maple tree in the pal's yard. It's been through Lindy laughed. <laughs> Just a dumb squirrel. <laughs> Fucking Lindy loves <laughs> violence against animals. And John's team Lindy. Just team as Lindy. a reminder. Chris stopped near the low shrubs. You sure? She, hesita- she hesitated, watching the windows of the new house. That was a pretty <laughs> loud squirrel. Have you heard squirrels? To be fair, they are really loud. They'll land on our roof, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> like, clearly there's a bear on the roof, and it's just some stupid squirrel that jumps off. The, right. My apartment I had had a tree, like, right on the balcony, and I walked out once, and there was a squirrel who was, like, maybe, like, five feet away on the tree, and as soon as it saw me, it just started going, huh, 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 huh. It became and I was like, get the fuck back inside. A get back inside. It's going to kill us. I, I love how squirrels will basically get into, like, the equivalent of, like, neighbors yelling at each other fights where, like, they'll look down at an animal and be like, and their little tail gets all angry. Yeah. It's like, what do you think you could do? Yeah. You're a squirrel. Tear us up with their little claws. That's true. Give us rabies. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like they could fuck you up. They could definitely fuck up other squirrels for sure. Yeah, like if yes. they go right for your face. Yeah. You just bat it that you go. <laughs> just pick up a squirrel and throw it. That's what Lindy would do. Yeah, Team Lindy. She knows how to handle a squirrel. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, when she turned back from the house, she was surprised to find that Lindy had disappeared. 
Hey, where'd you go? Over here, Lindy called. I see something. <laughs> it took Chris a while to locate her sister. Lindy was half hidden behind a large black capital D dumpster. Now, okay. why is that, do we think? <laughs> dumpster brand dumpsters. <laughs> for when you really probably need a, a dumpster. Probably a 30 yard open top. <laughs> what the fuck? The, uh, um, oh. Lindy was half hidden behind a large black dumpster at the far end of the yard. <laughs> Chris shielded her eyes with one hand to see better. Lindy was was bent over the side of the dumpster. She appeared to be rummaging through some trash. Which is should now she just she's just dumpster dumpster diving. diving. Yeah. Like a little like a little little critter. She's What's more they both die right now. That'd be awesome. By the way. Yeah. Obviously they're gonna find Slappy. What if they both die? That's the cold open of this book because <gasps> these two girls are dead. Oh my god. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Invested so much time in in their personalities <laughs> yeah. and their gave them almost voices. Yeah. It's your page. Oh, do I finish it because it's half a page or do or does Oh no no I go? think it just uh oh wait you did say what's in there. It's my turn, sorry. Um, Lindy was tossing things around and didn't seem to hear. What is it? Chris called, taking a few reluctant steps toward the dumpster. Lindy didn't reply. I did the wrong voice again. You did. I wasn't going to say anything. They're going to be dead in a a page, so it doesn't matter. Then, slowly, she pulled something out. She started to hold it up. Its arms and legs dangled down limply. Chris could see a head with brown hair. A head arms and legs a big dangly dick (laughs) oh no Chris cried aloud raising her hands to her face in horror (gasps) what was it chapter two a child Jesus Christ (laughs) a dead child a dead kid (laughs) a dead kid Chris uttered a silent a dumpster baby a dumpster a dumpster baby (laughs) Dumpster baby. Chris uttered a silent gasp, staring in horror as Lindy lifted him out of the dumpster. She could see his face frozen in a wide-eyed stare. His brown hair stood stiffly on top of his head. He seemed to be wearing some sort of gray suit. Well, it's just really funny because we know it's a fucking ventriloquist dummy. Just that you could see that and be like, a child in a suit? Yeah. Did this she, child that, die at someone else's funeral? But his cheeks are so rosy. <laughs> They know all about cathedral ceilings, but they've never heard of ventriloquist uh, yeah, exactly. or dolls of any kind. They were homeschooled. <laughs> His arms and legs dangled lifelessly. Lindy, Chris called. All right, did you see me pause to figure out which person was talking? You so thought, about it, really thought about it. Really hard. Lindy, Chris called, her throat tight with fear. Uh, is it? Is he alive? Her heart oh pounding. Chris started to run to her sister. Lindy was cradling the poor thing in her arms. Is he alive? Chris repeated breathlessly. Are they stupid? Yes. <laughs> They're children. She, she stopped short when her sister started to laugh. <laughs> no, not alive. Lindy called gleefully. And then Chris realized that it wasn't a child at all. A dummy! She shrieked. That is a lot worse. Lindy held it up. Yeah, I'd rather it be a dead kid. (laughs) A ventriloquist (sighs) dummy. She said, someone threw him out. Do you believe it? He's in perfect shape. It took Lindy a while to notice that Chris was breathing hard, her face bright red. Chris, what's your problem? Oh, wow. Did you think it was a real kid? Lindy laughed (laughs) scornfully. No, of course not, Chris insisted. Lindy held the dummy up Uh, and examined his bag. Lindy really should be Lumpy Space Princess. Oh, she should. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, that's the only girl voice I can do. Yeah, well, you don't have I mean, a books with it like names mind. like Becca and Jonathan. This is like the second one with a character named Chris, and it <laughs> yeah. bothers me. Yeah, but this one's a twelve-year-old girl, and she spells it with the K. It's totally different. Chris, Chris. Don't make it any better to my ears. <laughs> Lindy, what's Hill's worse, like this or Christopher? Oh, oh, yeah. that's yeah. so much worse. I know. <laughs> Lindy so held up the worse. dummy. And examined his back, looking for a string to pull to make his mouth move. I am a real kid, Lindy made him say. (laughs) She was speaking in a high-pitched voice through gritted teeth, trying not to move her lips. 100% Team Lindy. (laughs) Dumb, Chris said, rolling her eyes. I'm not dumb, you're dumb, Lindy made the dummy say in a high, squeaky voice. Good, great, (laughs) excellent. 
<laughs> Excellent comeback. <laughs> I'm legit laughing. Uh, when she pulled the string in his back, the wooden lips moved up and down, clicking as they moved. She moved her hand up his back and found the control to make his painted eyes shift from side to side. He's probably filled with bugs, Chris said, making oh. a disgusted face. Stop chomping your teeth. Okay. That makes me die. <laughs> I'm just being... I'm just, it makes my teeth hurt. I'm just being a slappy. Jesus, don't, don't ever be What do you slappy. know about slappy? What do you know about slappy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> throw him back, Lindy. No way, Lindy insisted, rubbing her hand tenderly over the dummy's wooden hair. I'm keeping him. She's Tenderly. keeping me. She made the dummy <laughs> Lindy needs a child love therapist. This. Lindy is fucked up. Oh, man. Chris <laughs> stares suspiciously at the dummy. His brown hair was painted on his head. His blue eyes moved only from side to side and couldn't blink. Oh, fucking nightmare. He had bright red painted lips curved up into an eerie smile. The lower lip had a chip on one side so that it didn't quite match the upper lip. The dummy wore a gray, double-breasted suit over a white shirt collar. The collar wasn't attached to a shirt. Instead, the dummy's wooden chest was painted white. Big brown leather shoes were attached to the ends of his thin, dangling legs. <laughs> My what name was the is collar Sloppy. Attached to, then? I'm sorry, I right. totally ruined that. Would... What was the collar attached to then? The suit? Uh, or... Well, like uh, it, he's wearing normal clothes, like a normal like suit blazer, but like the shirt and tie, I guess, are carved into the wood. Or okay. it's, like, glued to just... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, shirt, a white shirt collar, but the collar wasn't attached to a shirt. Maybe it's, yeah. like, glued to the chest? Or just, yeah. like, stitched no, to the sides the, of the, the jacket? The dummy's wooden chest yeah. was painted white, so it, it it's, like, a... But then it's the, the collar the chest the and collar's fabric? there. It doesn't yeah. matter. I wish I hadn't said it. Go on. Reread that, please. I ruined the <laughs> character. The dummy wore a gray, double-breasted suit over a white shirt collar. The collar wasn't attached to a shirt. Instead, the dummy's wooden chest was painted white. Big brown leather shoes were attached to the ends of his thin, dangling legs like he had polio. <laughs> oh. My name is Slappy, Lindy made the dummy say, moving his grinning mouth up and down. Dumb, Chris repeated, shaking her head. Why slappy? Come over here and I'll slap you. Lindy <laughs> made him say, trying to move her lips. Wait, Chris groaned. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to ride our bikes to the playground or not, Lindy? <laughs> Afraid poor Robbie misses you, Lindy made slappy ask. <laughs> Put that ugly thing down, Chris replied impatiently. I'm not ugly. Slappy said in Lindy's squeaky voice, <laughs> sliding his eyes from side Very to side. Squeaky. You're ugly. Your lips are moving, Chris told Lindy. You're a lousy ventriloquist. I'll get better, Lindy insisted. You mean you're really keeping it, Chris cried? I oh like my Slappy. God. He's cute, Lindy said, cuddling the dummy against the front of her t-shirt. Yeah. How like would you not... Like a baby. Not... Here's All the thing. girls love babies. <laughs> if I found... I, I have... A ventriloquist dummy in a dumpster today, I'd fucking keep it so hard. Oh, no, you no, would. but it's haunted. It's going to be haunted, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. We have two fucking yeah. marionette dolls hanging up in our basement under the stairs. Yeah. The scariest you'll, you'll, possible You'll be spot. haunted by bed bugs. <laughs> but, well, oh, God. Well, yeah, in New York City, absolutely not. <laughs> well, the ghost, I guess. The demon for John is a feature, not a bug. I'll, I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll fog him good, and then I'll <laughs> hang him up somewhere. Oh, and yeah, I came saying, in to get my dummy deloused. All I'm saying is, like, <laughs> the the question, are you keeping that ventriloquist dummy you found in a dumpster, is laughable to me, because there's no answer other than yes, of course I am. Jesus. Yeah, oh, and that's why you're Team Lindy. That's why I'm 100% Team Lindy. <laughs> Who's, is it my turn? I don't know. Yes. I'm yes. struggling. No, it's <laughs> fine. Also, okay, this is super exciting podcast content, but is there a way where I can see you you guys as well as the screen share? Or no, I can oh, only see this. You can't see us? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, how, well, I guess. I don't know how to. If you go over to the right of your screen, I already have it. Uh, the top right, there's a, a selection that says view. Mm. And if you do side by side gallery. Mm, sorry. Your mind just does it automatically. So you can't see us? 
No, no. Well, I guess That's technically sad. I see Chris when it recognizes that he's talking, but when John and Becca talk, it's just Jonathan's ghost profile with nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, upper right corner, select view, and you want side by side gallery instead of side by side speaker. I don't have view. I have. She doesn't have, see it because we're sharing screens. Would it be on the top of the screen? The top left? I see a three dots on the top left over there. No, uh, it's probably this thing like right the above top like, center the window. of the screen where it says view options. I don't have view options. <laughs> oh, no. I have, I have mute, stop, video, share content, participants, more. And then. But th where's the little window where you see like whoever's speaking? Uh, uh, it, it, lower, wiggle lower, your. Lower right hand corner and then. Around. So there's um so there should be like a few like little options above that like in that window. There's like a little like they're just fucking graphics, but if you cycle <sighs> through them, it might change it. Um. They should let you change other people's viewing options. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on that an iPad. I'm on the Zoom app on an iPad, so I don't oh, know. If that might be it. I have no idea. I'm sending that's you a picture probably... of what ours looks like in case that's helpful. Um, chat apps, show captions, because it's it's like it's making me like dissociate because I can't see anyone and I'm yeah. just staring. Yeah. Understandable. Like, nothing but the page. And I don't know I've if you need to like, like click on Chris or like click on the window and maybe it'll show you the options. Stare, after you staring on. into the void of Stein. Well, yes. yeah, and I guess it might also just not work. There's some body on voices <laughs> in my Like, I don't know if it's the same ear. on my iPad because we're on computers. Yeah. Um, it does, yeah. We're I don't on even real have, computers. Yeah, it doesn't give me any, oh, 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 wait, what is this now? Hang on. Ooh, can you guys see that shit? Can you guys no. see that? Oh, no. what? Oh. What? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're highlighting I can draw. Book. What? Ah! <laughs> I can draw on the screen. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, that's not helpful, but... Um... <laughs> uh, what I want to know is, is it stay... Oh, it does stay there. Oh, yay! I took a oh, picture no. of it. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a very long time to recognize what it was. So we're stuck with that forever. Okay, let me get rid of it. Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that I, there's nothing I can do because the iPad sucks. But now I'm trapped in highlight mode anytime I touch anything. Cool. <laughs> and there's nothing I can. I think since it since it's on screen share, it just like forces me to look at yeah. nothing but the screen share, and that's it. Yeah. But anyway, oh. I'll survive. Just bear with me if I if I say weird stuff because I feel like I'm literally talking to myself in yeah, my bedroom. That's understandable. <laughs> really dissociating and I'm a little drunk. So anyway. <laughs> that's the best way to the do this podcast. Time. It's true. <laughs> that's the only way to do this podcast. It's the only way. You don't have a laptop you can grab? <laughs> oh, I have my work laptop, but I don't. Who has the time? I don't trust them. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to uh, feel like you're doing a work thing. That's understandable. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's hot. It's got it's got bad juju. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Am I reading this page? Is that what's yes. happening? Okay, I apologize for that's the okay. Okay. side bar. Okay. <clears throat> Who's talking now? This is Slappy. what's happening. This is uh, Lindy Slappy as oh, Slappy's Slappy. Oh, Slappy's talking. Yeah. Lindy as Slappy. Pardon me. Um, I'm cute, she made him say. And you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, Chris snapped to the dummy. You shut up, Slappy replied in Lindy's tight, high-pitched voice. I, <laughs> I have to say, I feel like every time you guys or we or I pick a voice for a character at some point later there's a description of their voice that's yeah. the complete opposite the like opposite. almost every yeah. single time yeah that's, that's one of the main happens. reasons we do this <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's the opposite thing <laughs> um what do you want to keep him for Chris asked following her sister toward the street I've always liked puppets Lindy recalled <laughs> <laughs> remember those marionettes I used to have I oh played God. with them for hours at a time. Oh, my God. I'm, 
I made up long plays with them. Sexy oh. plays. <laughs> with Yikes. betrayal. <laughs> and I always played with I always content. played with marionettes too, Chris remembered. You got all the strings all tangled up, Lindy said, <laughs> frowning. Yes. You weren't any good at it. <laughs> but what are you going to do with this dummy? Wink, wink, wink. Chris demanded. <laughs> I don't know. Kissing. Maybe I'll work up and act, Lindy said thoughtfully, shifting Slappy to her other arm. I'll bet I could earn some money with him. You know, appear at kids' birthday parties, put on shows. Happy birthday! She made Slappy <laughs> declare. Hand That's a viable career path. Oh my god. Jesus. Chris didn't laugh. <laughs> I did, though. The two girls, <laughs> Loved the it. Two girls walked along the street in front it's of their house. Gold! Lin- Lindy cradled Slappy in her arms, one hand up his back. I think he's creepy, Chris said, <laughs> kicking a large pebble across the street. You should put him back in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> What I love about Lindy's voice uh, is that she's progressed into, like, slow, like, simple-minded Southern person. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's just where my, my mind it's, went. It's, uh, like, because um, she was saying haunted-sounding sounded sounding stuff, which, yeah. to me, is always better with a Southern accent. No way, Lindy insisted. <laughs> no way. She made Slappy say, shaking his head, his glassy blue eyes moving from side to side. I'll put you in the dumpster. Slappy sure We're all is doing mean. Very different Slappy voices. And yeah. I, love that. I that John understood what I was attempting. He, yeah. To go for. I was I trying to follow Joe's lead. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Slappy sure is mean. Chris remarked, frowning at Lindy. Lindy laughed. <laughs> Don't look at me. She teased. Complained to Slappy. Chris scowled. You're jealous, Lindy said, because I found him and you didn't. That's definitely her voice now. I blame her. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where Chris, did that come from? I don't know. It came from Joe, what Joe is doing. Yeah. Chris started to protest, but they both heard voices. Chris looked up to see the two Marshall kids from down the block running towards them. Marshall. Oh, Fuck shit. That. Marshall. Joe and Sarah. <laughs> 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 they were cute, red-headed kids that Lindy and Chris sometimes babysat for. What's that? Amy Marshall asked, pointing at Slappy. Does he talk? Her younger brother, Ben, asked, staying several feet away, an uncertain expression on his freckled face. Hi, I'm Slappy. Lindy made the dummy call out. She cradled Slappy in one arm, making him sit up straight. His arms dangled at his sides, lifelessly. Where did you get him? Amy asked. Do his eyes move? Ben asked, still hanging back. Do your eyes move? Slappy asked Ben. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Both Marshall kids laughed. For some reason. Personally attacked. Yeah. Ben forgot his reluctance. He stepped up and he grabbed Slappy's hand. <laughs> it was hot. Ouch, not so hard, <laughs> Slappy cried. Ben dropped the hand with a gasp. Then he and Amy collapsed in gleeful laughter. Ha 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 ha! Lindy made Slappy laugh, tilting his head back and opening his mouth wide. Yes, I love this. The two kids thought that was a riot, and so did He's Jonathan. Like... They laughed even harder. Pleased by the response she was getting, Lindy glanced at her sister. Chris was sitting on the curb, cradling her head in her hands, a dejected look on her face. <laughs> She's jealous, Lindy realized. Chris sees that the kids really like Slappy and that I'm getting all the attention, and she's totally jealous. I'm definitely keeping Slappy, Lindy told herself, secretly pleased at her little triumph. Jesus! Oh. She stared into the dummy's bright blue painted eyes. To her surprise, the dummy seemed to be staring back at her, a twinkle of sunlight in his eyes, his grin wide and knowing. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, guys, I cracked the code on my Zoom interface. There was a little tiny plus sign that just, like, pops you guys all out across the bottom. Okay, cool. You can see our faces. So much better. I just (laughs) tuned in right in time to see John miming Slappy. Oh, good, you saw that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Chapter 3 
Who was on that phone? Who was on the phone? <laughs> oh, sorry. I read that completely wrong. <laughs> Maybe he sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that on the phone? Mr. Pal asked, shoveling another fork full Mrs. of spaghetti. We sound alike contest. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pal asked, shoveling another fork full of spaghetti into his mouth. Lindy slipped back into her place at the table. Wait, what was the Lindy voice? It was like, uh, it was... It was Mrs. Marshall down the block. Okay. Simple minded. So it makes Southerner. sense that the dad's Ben Crosby because it kind of nice. works. <clears throat> uh, it's not very nice to Southerners. <clears throat> it was Mrs. Marshall, Marshall down Southerners. the block. <laughs> Does she want you to babysit? Mrs. Powell asked, reaching for the salad bowl. She turned to Chris. Don't you want any salad? <laughs> Chris wiped spaghetti sauce off her chin with her napkin. Maybe later. No, Lindy answered. <laughs> she wants me to perform at Amy's birthday party with Slappy. <laughs> Your first job, Mr. Powell said, a <laughs> smile crossing his slender face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amy and Ben liked Slappy so much they insisted on him, Lindy said. Mrs. Marshall's going to pay me $20. That's Great, their mother exclaimed, for we are ever so poor. <laughs> she passed the salad bowl across the table to her husband. Yeah, well, in 1993, $20 is like, what, $2,000? That's, like, <laughs> that's like $800 Wait. now. Guys, yeah. is this weird? Salad and spaghetti? Um, no? I didn't have that growing up, but I don't think it's weird. Isn't that weird? Salad that seems weird. You have me a salad on the side of everything. Weird. I can't believe you're the one saying that's weird. Well, yeah, I just... Yeah, we uh, that's so normal. That was like... Really? Because oh, yeah. you got to have a vegetable. Salad after spaghetti is weird. <laughs> spaghetti, what about spaghetti right, in it's salad? A, it's a spaghetti salad. Salad's a nap. You just dump... Yeah, put, yeah. put, it, put it all together. Just put and, lettuce in your spaghetti and your... Uh, and yeah, your spaghetti salad. Uh, put it, wrap it up in a... In a crunch yeah, wrap. I know that's not weird, but we always just had like bread yeah. with butter. And spaghetti, just like another carb on the side of spaghetti. Yeah, I guess it. Okay, I guess it's weird that like I, what I'm thinking of as a side for spaghetti is just garlic bread, which is like yeah, you said more carbs. It's just yeah, carbs and meat. Better. It is better. It's better so than better. salad. <laughs> yeah. Vegetables. Okay. Food pyramid. That's, that's why the they made Italian dressing. <laughs> Because spaghetti so, salads, it, so you can pair your yeah. salad with spaghetti. Okay. Yeah, you know Italian. It makes sense. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Um, uh, it, it, it I'm gonna ask this every single time. It's my turn. Yes, it's right? your page. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it had been a week since Lindy rescued Slappy from the dumpster. Rescued like he's a dog. Is it still <laughs> capitalized? Holy shit! We it have is. to yeah. like. I'm gonna need to look this up. Yeah, because it's not a it's not a mistake. It's every single time. And Arlstein also is, is the guy who calls all boxes cartons. Yeah, yeah it's gonna, it's, which it's is a Canadian be a 30 thing, yard right? Open top. I think it's like a Midwestern thing. I, I, I and maybe Canadian, but yeah, I think it's a. We thought it was a Canadian thing, but then he's not Canadian. He's not. I thought we. I thought that was the whole. I think the he's whole Midwestern. Thing. Oh, I thought Jesus. he was Canadian too, but I could be wrong. I just um, it sounded like it seems like he should be Canadian, right? Here, I'll look it up. Yeah, yeah you, you can. Carton, Carton is is as wild as. There Actually, is you know, a, there pot, is a brand name dumpster. But so is it like Kleenex? Like dumpster yeah, I think so. is. I think that's what's going well, but, on here. Yeah. Then what's the what's the non branded name for it? Trash box. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Say in other countries, they boxes. use the word skip or wheelie bin. Okay, that's not helpful. <laughs> wheelie bin? Wheelie bin. Wheelie bin. That's, uh, by other countries, that definitely means England. The, the yeah, British I've version of Goosebumps is, I found a dummy in the wheelie bin I did. In it? Yeah. Yes. Um, in it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He's from Columbus, Ohio, Midwest. All right. Oh, well, okay. Ohio, the land that time forgot. Might as well be Canada. 
Yeah, right. It's that's uh, that's uh, America's candidate. Wow, I'm learning a lot about dumpsters. Oh. The word dumpster was first used commercially in 1936, and it came from the Dempster dumpster system of mechanically loading the contents of standardized containers into garbage trucks. Did you say Dempster which dumpster? Which were penned by the Dempster brothers. Whoa. Dumpsters are called amazing. dumpsters because of Dempster. The Dempster brothers invented dumpsters. What the fuck? Whoa. Why Whoa. would they change one wow. letter of their name? Ooh, they also changed it. They're at like, we some don't want to be associated with trash the that Dempster much. The Dempster Dump Master. The Dempster Dump, Dump Master. Master. <laughs> That's just I what like they call think of myself taco as night. A bit of a. I like to think of myself as a bit of a Dump Master. Yeah. <laughs> the Dempster That's Dump Master. That's what we all call you. Yeah. Dumpster dump master. I'm like, I'm thinking, like, isn't there a thing that they're called that's not dumpsters? Literally, all I can think of is dumpster. Wheelie yeah, bin. no, they're, they're dumpsters. <laughs> Wheelie bin. Like Kleenex and Band Aid and. Yeah. yeah, but like, there's got to be a different brand that's not dumpster brand dumpsters. I mean, it's just a colloquial They've... colloquialism, colloquialism at this point. Nailed it. Thank you. That I mean, they just yeah, they really they have a monopoly on the. On the the <laughs> trash yeah. containment industry. And, yeah. and fun fact, the jaloquialisms came up with colloquialism. <laughs> God wow. Damn it. Jaloquial colloquial. <laughs> it had been a week since Lindy rescued Slappy from the dumpster. <laughs> from Dempster's dumpster. From Dempster's or whatever. dumpster. <laughs> Every day after school, she had spent hours up in her room rehearsing with him, working on his voice, practicing not moving her lips, thinking up jokes to perform with him, working on her tight five. <laughs> Chris, kept ins- <laughs> Chris kept insisting the whole thing was dumb. Real Stare. original Chris. <laughs> I can't believe you're being such a nerd, she told oh, her damn. sister. She refused to be an audience for Lindy's routines. <laughs> But when Lindy brought Slappy into school on Friday, Chris's attitude began to change. A group of kids gathered around Lindy outside her locker. As Lindy made Slappy talk for them, Chris watched from down the hall. She's going to make a total fool of herself, Chris thought. <laughs> her internal monologue had a British accent. Yes. Social suicide. <laughs> <laughs> but to her surprise, the kids hooted and howled. They thought Slappy was a riot. Even Robbie Martin, the guy Chris had a crush on for two years, thought Lindy was terrific. Oh, no. Watching Robbie along with the other kids made Chris think hard. <laughs> Becoming a ventriloquist might be fun and profitable. Lindy was going to earn $20 at the Marshall's birthday party. And when word got around, she'd probably perform a lot of parties and earn even more money. After dinner that evening. How long can you keep that going? Well, the, the yeah, children. The... <laughs> you, you don't understand a where birthdays. a child's mind goes. Yeah. Um, after dinner that evening, Lindy and Chris washed and dried the dishes. Then Lindy asked her parents if she could practice her Whoa, new... Well, that would be worth $42 today. Wow. Double? I can't believe More inflation than double. Is that to 42. Bad? Jesus oh, Christ. Man. That's Yikes. crazy. Damn. Yeah. That's Fucking... Nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did I finish that sentence? Finish your comedy routine. Whatever. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I'm done. She hurried up to her room <laughs> to get slappy. Mr. and Mrs. Powell took a seat on the living room couch, sighing loudly. Maybe Lindy will be a TV star, Mrs. Powell said. Maybe. Mr. Powell agreed, settling back on the couch, a pleased smile on his face. He's, he's easily amused. Sparky yapped and climbed between Mr. and Mrs. Powell, his tiny stub of a tail wagging furiously. You know you're not allowed on the couch, Mrs. Powell said, sighing. Oh, Parky. But she made no move to push Barky off. Chris sat down away from the others on the floor by the steps, cradling her chin in her hands. You're looking glum this evening, her father remarked. Every dad voice you do sounds like the other father yeah. from Coraline. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, We're on brand. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a dummy too? Chris asked. She hadn't really planned to say it. The question just popped out of her mouth. Lindy came back into the room, carrying Slappy around the waist. Ready? She said. She pulled a dining room chair into the center of the living room and sat down. 
Well, can I? Chris repeated. You really want one too? Mrs. Powell asked, surprised. Well, what? I gotta think. Well, I'm see. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, going between the dad and Lindy, they, they sound the same. What? What? They sound related. Lindy asked. Eh, it's true. Confused. Chris says she wants a dummy too. Mrs. Powell reported. No way, Lindy said heatedly. Why do you want to be such a copycat? It looks like fun, Chris replied, her cheeks turning bright pink. And if you can do it, I can do it too, she added shrilly. Damn. You always copy everything I do, Lindy protested angrily. Why don't you find something of your own for once? Go upstairs and work on your junk jewelry collection. That's your <laughs> hobby. Oh, Let me be the ventriloquist. Oh, <laughs> junk jewelry collection? Uh, rude. God damn. Girls, Mr. Powell Fire started again. raising a hand for quiet. I, it'll let me get through the page. But well, let's borrow again. <laughs> oh, um, shit. Uh, uh, girls, Mr. Powell started raising a hand for quiet. Please don't fight over it, <gasps> dummy. <gasps> <gasps> it's haunted. Oh, it's slappy. I really think I'd be better at it, Chris said. I mean, Lindy isn't very funny. <laughs> Everyone thinks uh, I'm funny. Hard Lindy disagree, insisted. Chris. <laughs> I've laughed at everything this bitch has done. <laughs> That's not very nice, Chris, Mrs. Powell scolded. Well, I just think if Lindy has one, I should have one too, Chris said to her parents. Copycat, Lindy repeated, shaking her head. You've been putting me down all week. You said it was nerdy. Hold on, let me get a little bigger. But I know why you change your mind. You're upset because I'm going to earn some money and you're not. I really wish you two wouldn't argue about everything, Mr. Pell said disgustedly. Maybe you should actually discipline them instead of really wishing that they behave better. I really better. wish you were better kids. He doesn't even know who they are. But no one can do <laughs> anything about it. Yeah, I wish you wouldn't, but I guess there's nothing anyone can do. Guys, it's like a dad's like, stop fighting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those little people are around. <laughs> well, can deal? I have a dummy? Chris asked him. They're expensive, Mr. Powell replied, glancing at his wife. A good one will cost more than $100. Okay, I really wanted to be like, he's. they're expensive, he said, glancing at his wife, as if to say, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck much a ventriloquist dummy cost. <laughs> yeah, why does he, know, how can fuck? he price it off the top of his head? Yeah. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Everyone knows Maybe the going rate for them. ventriloquist dummies. <laughs> I really don't think we can afford to buy one now. Why don't you both share, Slappy? Mrs. Powell suggested. Huh? Lindy's mouth dropped open in protest. Did they Do tell their parents share? they got this dummy in the dumpster? Uh, from a dumpster's That's dumpster? A good question. <laughs> Are you looking at prices of ventriloquist dummies? Yes, dummies? I am. Of okay, course good. I am. Good. good. All right. So you two always one. share everything, Mrs. Powell continued. So why don't you share Slappy? But, Mom, Lindy whined unhappily. Excellent idea, Mr. Powell interrupted. He I feel like I'm getting Chris. haunted just looking at pictures of ventriloquist <laughs> yeah, dolls. And one of them is Slappy, and it's $96. Yeah, you're, you shouldn't have done that. Your algorithm's oh, fucked like now. That. <laughs> that one's got a hat. <laughs> His name's Charlie McCarthy. <laughs> Charlie McCarthy? Can we give him a new home? No. <laughs> uh, what if you're, I... All your, your Instagram ads are going to be haunted dolls now. Yeah. Well, no, the, uh, you're the partner that's always looking at dogs and stuff, always wanting to adopt them. But instead of dogs, you're looking at dummies. Dummies. And you're just like, oh, but he, his name is Charles Charleston. He needs a home. He's missing a leg. I'm just going to buy a ventriloquist dummy and then come home one day and be like, I found him in the dumpster. <laughs> No, you're not. Right. <laughs> Becca doesn't think this is funny. Excellent idea, Mr. Powell. I'm Powell the one looking at these fucking pictures. Oh, he oh. That one Ooh, $7, no. $7,000. 7000 What is he? 7000 Blow you? I don't understand. Well, no, he that might blow much. you. We'll find That's out. the least he could do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an old man. He's he like, does look like an old man. From a like distance, I'm feet. like, who is that so old man? So experience. Why is... um. Uh, fuck, what's that guy's name? Ooh, what's that picture? Oh! It's him folded up in his fucking box. That's oh, uh -oh. cursed. That's cursed. That's not the way you should ever... You shouldn't... 
store a dummy like that. Right, we have to move on from this. <laughs> That's how you keep the demons in shock. This is an audio format. <clears throat> Ew, oh, nice. His feet are on either side of his face. Oh, yeah, he's okay. got it. All right, I'm going to throw my phone in the trash now. Pulled through a ladder from behind. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to you got to set right. that on fire and get a new one. <laughs> Excellent idea, Mr. Powell interrupted. He motioned to Chris. Try it out. After you share them for a while, I'm sure one of you will lose interest in them. <laughs> Maybe even both of you. That's how you children are, right? Chris, Chris climbed to her feet She's and walked wrong. over to Lindy. It's true. She reached out for the dummy. I don't mind sharing, she said quietly, searching her sister's <laughs> eyes for approval of the idea. Can I hold him for just a second? She, Lindy held on to Slappy tightly. She hasn't even started her routine yet. This is really... Um, Inconsiderate timing on Chris's part. You're just mad that you're missing her routine. <laughs> yes, Suddenly, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the dummy's head tilted back and his mouth opened wide. <gasps> okay, so when it's in italics, I'm going to do a different voice than okay. Wendy doing Slappy. Okay. <clears throat> Beat it, Chris! He snarled in a harsh, raspy voice. Get lost, you stupid cunt! <laughs> oh, no. Before Chris could back away... Slappy's wooden hand shot up and he slapped her hard <gasps> across the face. Oh, I did not so add love that part. Fulfilling his namesake. <laughs> it's up to the listener to find out which part I ad lived. <laughs> oh my yeah. bet you'll never guess. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Wow. Awesome. This book rocks. Um, <laughs> we're still going? Yeah. Chapter four. Chapter four. Okay, who's okay? Chris got slapped by Slappy. the dummy's wooden hand. Okay, ow! Chris <laughs> screamed and raised her hand to her cheek, which was bright pink. She stepped back. Stop it, Lindy! That hurt. Me? Lindy cried. I didn't do it. Slappy did. <laughs> Don't be dumb, Chris protested, rubbing her cheek. You really hurt me. <laughs> I just thought about Charlie bit me. You guys remember Charlie bit uh. me? Charlie bit me. That really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, we just me? were so old. Did you know that? Yeah, yep. shut up. <laughs> Ancient. Uh, ba -ba 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 we are covered ba -ba -ba in moss. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, if we, we remember this book and are aware of Arl Stein's existence, we're already fucked, so. Mm -hmm. Um... Me, Lindy cry. Oh, I already, I already read that. Don't. I uh, already read that too. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> You're doing great. Good job. But I didn't do it. Lindy cried. She turned Slappy's face toward her. Why were you so rude to Chris? <laughs> Mr. Powell jumped up from the couch. His voice. I don't know how to do. That's it. fine. Stop acting dumb and apologize to your sister. He ordered. Lindy bowed Slappy's head. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, in your own voice, Mr. Powell insisted, crossing his arms in front of his chest. Uh, Slappy didn't hurt Chris. You did. Can you scroll a little early for me? Because yeah, you all yeah. faces are covering up the bottom third of my oh, screen. Oh, sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. No, in your I'm own voice, it. Mr. Powell insisted, crossing his arms in front of his chest. Slappy didn't hurt Chris. You did. Okay, okay, Lindy muttered, blushing. She avoided Chris's angry stare. I'm sorry. Here. She dumped Slappy into Chris's arms. Chris was so surprised, she nearly dropped the dummy. Slappy was heavier than she'd imagined. <clears throat> now what am I supposed to do with him? Chris asked Lindy. Lindy shrugged and crossed the room to the couch where she dropped down beside her mother. Why did you make such a fuss? Mrs. Powell whispered, leaning close to Lindy. That was so babyish. You little baby. Why did you do that, you baby? <laughs> Lindy blushed. Bl L Lindy bl blushed. <laughs> Slappy is mine. Why can't someone be mine for once? Oh. <gasps> sometimes you girls are so nice to each other, and sometimes... Mrs. Powell's voice trailed off. Mr. Powell took a seat on the padded arm of the chair across the room. How do I make his mouth work? 
Chris asked, tilting the dummy upside down to examine its back. There's a string in his back inside the slit in his jacket, Lindy told her grudgingly. You just pull it. I don't want Chris to work Slappy, Lindy thought unhappily. I don't want to share Slappy. Why can't I have something that just belongs to me? Why do I have to share everything She's already said that like 50 times. Why, Becca, why? Why Why does Chris always want to copy me? Why? She, she gritted her teeth and waited for her anger these, to fade. These parents are <laughs> shitty because Lindy didn't get to do her routine. The whole point of this. She was going to, yeah. She was going to do yeah. her tight five. Yeah, she was going to do the thing yeah. she was going to fucking gonna perform at another kid's birthday party to get paid money to do. And then, well, at, like, literally the moment before it starts, Chris is just like, I want a dummy too. I don't want yeah. her to do her thing. I want one yeah. too. And the parents well, are like, it, yeah, you're right. You should interrupt her, and uh, you should cause a scene, and then we're going to yell at her instead. You have to remember this was the early 90s, and uh-huh. the early 90s parents didn't support their children's dreams. That's true. <laughs> they didn't want to spend $100 to avoid a fight. They just let them they fight. Just, yeah. They just did a lot of, like, finger wagging. And yeah. They did just a lot of, like, not in this house. Complain yeah. well, maybe, about... Maybe when you make the rules... I wish you were nicer, of, like, but I'll enforce I ought the ought fact to... that you're rude. Yeah. I wish you were nicer, but I won't do anything about it. Oh, Dusty. I hope they can hear his purrs on the microphone. They're really loud. I cannot. Every time I I squeeze him, he purrs louder. Squeeze Uh, him harder. (laughs) 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 Later that night, Chris sat (laughs) sat straight up in bed. She'd had a bad dream. Stop nuzzling the microphone, Dusty. (laughs) I was being chased, she remembered. Her heart was still pounding. Chased by what? By whom? She couldn't remember. She glanced around the shadowy room, waiting for her heartbeat to return to normal. The room felt hot and stuffy, even though the window was open and the curtains were fluttering. Lindy lay sound asleep on her side in the twin bed next to Chris's. Oh, they have to be right next to each other? That sucks. Mm -hmm. It's very appropriate that they had twin beds. (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. (laughs) Mitch Hedberg. Yeah. When I was a kid, he used to lay, I lay in my twin bed, and I would wonder where my brother was. <laughs> <laughs> she was snoring softly, her lips slightly parted, her long hair falling loose about her face. Chris glanced at the clock radio on the bedside table between the two twin beds. Ow. It was nearly three in the morning. Even though she was now wide awake, the nightmare wouldn't completely fade away. She still felt uncomfortable, a little frightened, as if she was still Just being chased a little by meow. someone or something. It's Pancake. Sorry. Who that also so wants cute. attention. <laughs> Pancake. Pick her Just, up. Show her up. Come here. Just heard the smallest of meows. <laughs> meow. Ooh, she's like so happy. deafening huh? when you're in the room with her. Okay. All right. Dusty. Jesus Christ. These are our, so, these are our twin babies. Oh, oh no, he's come here, bad. Dusty. Please stop. For the listener at home, stop. Dusty is gray. Pancakes okay. is uh, orange. orange. Pancake colored. He's yeah. a little pancake baby. Isn't that right, pancakes? Yeah. Yeah. Now you don't have anything to say. <laughs> now you have nothing to say. Pancakes, you're such a Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Team Pancakes. <laughs> Still scared, blah, blah. The back of her neck felt hot and prickly. She turned and fluffed up her pillow, propping it higher on the headboard. As she lay back on it, something caught her eye. Someone sitting in the chair in front of the bedroom window. Someone staring at her. It was Megan! <laughs> After a Joe, sharp did you watch inti- Megan? Sorry. Joe, did you yes. watch Megan? I love did that you movie. love it? Great movie. I can't remember if it we was talked good. about it. Okay. We didn't talk about it. I loved it. That's all. Anyway, it was great. Yeah. After a sharp intake of breath, <gasps> she realized it was Slappy. Yellow moonlight poured over him, making his staring eyes glow. He was sitting up in the chair, tilted to the right at a slight angle, one arm resting on the slender arm of the chair. His mouth locked in a wide, mocking grin. His eyes seemed to be staring right at Chris. Chris stared back, studying the dummy's expression in the eerie yellow moonlight. Then, without thinking, without even realizing what she was doing, she climbed silently out of bed. Her foot got tangled in the bedsheet and she nearly tripped because she's a clumsy bitch. (laughs) 
Kicking the sheet away, she made her way quickly across the room to the window. Slappy stared at her as her shadow fell over him. His grin seemed to grow wider as Chris leaned closer. A gust of wind made the soft curtains flutter against her face. Chris pushed them away and peered down at the dummy's painted head. She reached a hand out and rubbed his wooden hair shining in the moonlight. His head felt warm, warmer than she'd imagined. Chris quickly jerked her hand away. Was Slappy put in the microwave? <laughs> what was that sound? Had Slappy snickered? Had he laughed at her? No, of course not. Chris realized she was breathing hard. Why am I so freaked out by this stupid dummy, she thought. In the bed behind her, Lindy made a gurgling <laughs> sound, died, and rolled on to her. <laughs> 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 Lindy asleep after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris stared hard into Slappy's big eyes, gleaming in the light from the window. She waited for him to blink or roll his eyes from side to side. She suddenly felt foolish. He's just a stupid wooden dummy, she told herself. She reached out and pushed him over. The stiff body swung to the side. <laughs> The hard head made a soft <laughs> clunk as it hit the wooden arm of the chair. Did you guys like that? Loved it. <laughs> Chris stared down at him, feeling strangely satisfied. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Gross. As if Sheet somehow taught him a lesson. I can't help but deliver some of these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. no. <laughs> the curtains rustled against her face again. She pushed them away. Feeling sleepy, she started back to bed. Feeling slappy. She, feeling yeah. slappy. She had only gone one step when Slappy reached up and grabbed her wrist. Oh, oh no! Shit. Are we doing ah. another chapter or is that it? How's everyone feeling? I just don't know how many episodes you want from the book. Uh, I don't care. Okay, then. <laughs> I stopped I trying to figure whichever. that out. I, <laughs> okay. I, I could do another one. Okay, let's do another one. Yeah. <clears throat> Chapter five. No! Oh! As the hand tightened around her <laughs> wrist, Chris <laughs> cried out and spun around. To her surprise, Lindsay. Fuck. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> to her surprise, Lindy was crouched you beside dumb her. bitch. Lindy had a tight grip you on idiot. Chris's wrist. I know, Chris is so dumb, right? In the book, Chris. Not that Chris. Fuck, there's too many Chris's. Hey, look, Chris jerked Aww. her hand from Lindy's grasp. Moonlight. Jonathan. Through the window, lit up Lindy's devilish grin. Gotcha again, she declared. You didn't scare me, Chris insisted, but her voice came out a trembling whisper. You didn't scare me. You jumped a mile, <laughs> Lindy exclaimed gleefully. You really thought the dummy grabbed you. Did not, Chris replied. She hurried to her bed. What were you doing up anyway? Lindy demanded. Were you messing with Slappy? I heard you through my gurgles. <laughs> no, I, uh, I had a bad dream, Chris told her. I just went to look out the window. Yeah, that's the ticket. Lindy snickered. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. God, she's so mean. I'm going back to sleep. Leave me the fuck alone, Chris snapped. She pulled the covers up to her chin. I don't appreciate that bullshit jump scare that was yeah, just manipulation on Earl Stein's part. Oh, well, <laughs> fucking strap in for every single cliffhanger of every single Goosebumps book. That's what it book. always is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It's you're always right. like, there were two horrible eyes gleaming at them from the darkness. The next chapter, their stupid dog walked out from the darkness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's always, <laughs> always what it is. Yeah, you're right. I should have known better. <laughs> Lindy pushed the dummy back to a sitting position. Then she returned to her bed, still chuckling over the scare she'd given her sister. Chris rearranged her pillows, then glanced across the room to the window. The dummy's face was half covered in shadow now, but the eyes glowed as if he were alive. And they stared into hers as if they were trying to tell her something. Why does he have to grin like that? Chris asked herself, trying to rub away the prickling feeling on the back of her neck. She pulled up the sheet, settled into the bed, and turned on her side, away from the wide staring eyes. But even with her back turned, she could feel them gazing at her, 
Even with her eyes closed and the covers pulled up to her head, she could picture the shadowy, distorted grin, the unblinking eyes staring at her. Staring. Staring! She drifted into an uncomfortable sleep, drifted into another dark nightmare. Someone was chasing her. Someone very evil was chasing her. Oh, no. But who? Dude, who ventriloquist dummies. I like. I, I could look it up, but just like uh-huh. when their mouth are, when their mouth is closed, it's just like lips, right? It's just like yeah, a line across their face, and then like lips. But when their mouth opens, do they have teeth? I don't know. Is there teeth Some in their mouth? I'm gonna have to Google the horrible pictures I just had to look at. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> closely at their mouth. I'm gonna attempt it. Depends on the I quality refuse. that they're made. And... Don't buy any. Just look at them. Refuse to Google, do ventriloquist dummies have? Or buy one and let me play with it. (laughs) (laughs) On Monday afternoon, Lindy and Chris both stayed after school to rehearse for the spring concert. What did they do in (gasps) it? Sorry. What? Oh, it's a Halloween decoration. <laughs> okay. He just bought one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Was, I just bought one. Oh, oops. Oops. That cart. was his I just bought one noise. <laughs> oh, this Charlie McCarthy is only 50 bucks on eBay. Oh, my God. Go on. Uh, spring concert. Google. They don't mention why. I just wonder, like, why? Like, what instruments do they play? You know? We're not going to find out. We're not going to find out. It was nearly five when they arrived home. something stupid like French horn. (laughs) And they were surprised to see their dad's car in the driveway. You're home so early. Yes. You're home so early, Chris exclaimed, finding him in the kitchen helping their mother prepare dinner. (laughs) I'm leaving tomorrow for a sales conference in Portland, Mr. Powell explained, peeling an onion over the sink with a small paring knife. So I only what? worked half a day today. You gotta peel the paper <laughs> part off. I mean, he's doing it in a weird way. Yeah, you just cut it in half and then you peel it off with your fingers. Okay, uh, maybe he didn't know that. It's just so just. They didn't know that in the Jesus. 90s. <laughs> God, just. All right. We got an onion elitist don't, over here. Don't Google ventriloquist dummy teeth. And then go to images. <laughs> I don't like what I've seen. Google, Google. It's just people selling the teeth. <laughs> real <laughs> human <laughs> teeth. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's for dinner, Lindy asked. Some of these have to be fake. Meatloaf, There's Mrs. There's a Timothy Powell Chalamet replied. one? What? what the fuck? With real human teeth? And the name of the, and the, and the title of this article is Timothy Chalamet Ventriloquist Dummy Maker Breaks Silence. <laughs> Does he only okay. speak through the dummy? We no, we never knew he was silent to begin with. <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's wonderful! <laughs> wow, okay, uh, can't wait to something. see that version of Dune. Anyway, go on. <laughs> what does his mouth look like when it's open? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the inside Beautiful. of a sandworm. It's just all yeah. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Dune joke. Anyway, what's for dinner? Lindy asked. Meatloaf, Mrs. Powell replied. If your father ever gets the onion peeled, clearly there's She's a better way to do too. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, okay. He's friends with Jonathan. <laughs> there's a trick to not cry when you peel an onion, Mr. Powell said, tears rolling down his cheeks. Wish I knew it. <laughs> that was the best oh, joke in this book so far. Awesome. <laughs> that was great. Okay, that, that Team was all Mr. as Powell. written. <laughs> How was chorus rehearsal? Okay, so they're in chorus. Oh, chorus, okay. Mrs. Powell mm. asked, kneading a big ball of red ground beef in her hands, as she oh, is wont to do. Slapping it. <laughs> I'm making one giant meatball. Slapping <laughs> <laughs> the beef. It's going to take ages to cook. Did you say slapping the beef? <laughs> I did. Slapping <laughs> <laughs> the beef. <laughs> oh, my God. Boring, Lindy complained, opening the refrigerator and taking out a can of Coke, which is what children of the 90s lived on. True. Oh, it should be Surge. It should be. Yeah. We're doing all these Russian and Yugoslavian songs, Chris said. They're so sad. They're all about sheep or something. We don't really know what they're about. There's no translation. Mr. None of that was ad-lib. you singing them in Russian and Yugoslavian? (laughs) Apparently, uh, and then how do you even know they're about sheep? It was just <laughs> that was that was a dumb question, Jonathan. It was explained in that statement. Yep, 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 yep. We don't really know what they're about. 
Sometimes R.L. Stein is a slightly less than mediocre writer. <laughs> as <laughs> as exemplified by this page. This page is With incredible. That killer fucking dad joke. <laughs> Good old oh Ryan Lein Stein. Mr. Powell rushed to the sink and began splashing cold water on his red, runny eyes. I can't take this, he wailed. <laughs> I'm not, I don't belong in the kitchen. He tossed the half-peeled <laughs> onion back to his wife. Cry, baby, she muttered, shaking her head. Men don't belong in the kitchen. <laughs> Chris headed up the stairs to drop her backpack in her room. She tossed it onto the desk she shared with Lindy, then turned to go back downstairs. But something by the window caught her eye. Spinning around, she gasped. <gasps> oh, no! The startled cry escaped her lips. Chris raised her hands to her cheeks and stared in disbelief. Slappy was propped up in the chair in front of the window, grinning at her with his usual wide-eyed stare. And seated beside him was, was another dummy, what? also grinning at her. And they were holding hands. <laughs> what? Sexy. Ooh, What's going on here? <laughs> Chris cried aloud. Here, Joe, you can keep going. I thought we were just doing one more time. Oh, I thought oh, that was really short. Okay. Do you like him? <laughs> At first, Chris thought that Slappy had asked the question. Because <laughs> she was kind of stupid. She gaped in stunned disbelief. Well, what do you think of him? It took Chris a long moment to realize that the voice was coming from behind her. She turned to find her father standing in the doorway, still dabbing at his eyes with a wet <laughs> dish towel. Sobbing. Trying to <laughs> get an infection. The, <laughs> yeah, right? The, the new dummy, Chris stammered. He's for you, Mr. Powell said, stepping into the room, the nasty, stinky, wet towel pressed against his <laughs> eyes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just, like, soap juice in that. <laughs> it's so nasty. Chris hurried over to the chair and picked the new dummy up to examine him. There's a tiny pawn shop on the corner across from my office, Mr. Powell said, lowering the towel. I was walking past, and believe it or not, this guy was in the window. He was cheap, too. I think the pawnbroker was glad to get rid of him. Is there oh, anything so the else on that page you can't see? Oh. Oh, no, it's a, the, the dad's Matthew McConaughey now. <laughs> He's of that. Cute. He, went, he goes on a journey with me every time. <laughs> I can't do it. He's cute. He's dot 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 cute, Chris said, searching for the right word. He looks just like Lindy's dummy, except his hair is bright red, not brown. Probably made by the same company, Mr. Powell said. His clothes are better than Slappy's, Chris said, holding the dummy out at arm's length to get a good view. I hate that stupid gray suit on Lindy's dummy. So stupid. Oh, no one wears double-breasted suits anymore. It's the 90s. <laughs> the new dummy wore blue denim jeans and a red and green flannel shirt. He was really a dummy of the woods. <laughs> and instead of the formal looking shiny brown shoes, he had Grunge white dummy. high top sneakers yes. on his feet. Grunge dummy! <laughs> his, um... So you like him? Mr. Powell asked, smiling. I love him, Chris cried happily. She crossed the room and gave her dad a hug. Then she picked up the dummy and ran out the room, down the stairs, and into the kitchen. Hey, everybody. Oh, God. Hey, everybody. Oh, Meet Mr. Wood, she declared happily, holding the grinning, grinning dummy up in front of her. Barky yapped excitedly, leaping up to nip at the dummy sneakers. Chris pulled her dummy away. Hey. Lindy cried in surprise. Where'd you get that? From daddy, Chris said, her grin wider than the dummies. I'm going to start practicing with them after dinner. I'm going to be a better ventriloquist than you. If I had two daughters, 12-year-old daughters, and they were both like... You wouldn't like, encourage a competition between them? And, they, and one of them was like, I found a ventriloquist dummy in the garbage, and I'm going to be a ventriloquist. And then the other daughter was like, that's no fair. I want a dummy too, and I'm also going to be a ventriloquist, and we're going to be dueling ventriloquists. I'd be like, we have haunted daughters. <laughs> but also, not... just like I would encourage it and just gaslight them both <laughs> privately, yes. like, yeah. just 
fan the flames of this. Of yeah, this I'd lean over to the wife and just like you're watch, so much better yeah, than wa- your sister. Watch one of them practice. Don't yeah, tell her I said yeah, exactly. That. Be like, well, you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'd lean over to the wife and say, uh, "Let's see how this plays out. What yeah. could go wrong?" <laughs> yeah. I desperately, desperately wanted her to make Mister Wood talk on that page because I have a voice for her oh. dummy. Well, maybe you'll get to. Yeah, I really we'll hope. see. I really hope. Chris, Mrs. Powell scolded. Everything isn't a competition, you know. I already have a job with Slappy, Lindy said with a superior <laughs> sneer. And you're just getting started. You're just a beginner. Mr. Wood is so much better looking than Slappy, Chris said, mirroring her twin <laughs> sneer. Mr. Wood is cool looking. That gray suit on your dummy is the pits. Oh you think that ratty old shirt is cool looking? Lin- Lindy scoffed, making a disgusted face. Yuck, that old dummy probably has worms. <laughs> you have worms, Chris exclaimed. Your dummy won't be funny, Lindy said nastily, because you don't have a sense of humor. Oh, yeah, Chris replied, tossing Mr. Wood over her shoulder. I must have a sense of humor. I put up with you, don't I? Damn. I really thought that as the protagonist of this book that these characters would be likable. Uh-huh. And I don't like either of them yeah. at all. I'm barely have team Chris. Ever, have you ever had a likable Goosebumps protagonist? I'm you? fully team Lindy. <sighs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> Jesus. Copycat, copycat, <laughs> Lindy cried angrily. Out of the kitchen, Mrs. Powell ordered with an impatient shriek. She threw a half an onion at him. Get out! You two are impossible. The dummies have better personalities than either of you. Oh, damn! Thanks, Uh, Mom, Chris said sarcastically. uh, Call me for dinner. (laughs) Yeah. Call me for dinner, Lindy called back. I'm going upstairs to practice my act with Slappy for the birthday party on Saturday. They forgot to end that quotation. It was the next afternoon, and Chris was sitting at the dressing table she shared with Lindy. Chris rummaged in the jewelry box and pulled out another string of brightly colored beads. She slipped them over her head and untangled them from the other three strands of beads she was wearing. Then she gazed at herself in the mirror, shaking her head to better see the long, dangly earrings. I love my junk jewelry collection, no matter what my shit sister says. <laughs> she Why thought, does she call it that? Right? Digging junk into the jewelry. depths of the like wooden... costume jewelry? Yeah. Is the term Is that that's another not word for, for them? It? Yeah, right. I think so. I've never heard junk jewelry as yeah. like a. <laughs> Digging into the depths of the wooden jewelry box to see what other treasures she could pull out. Lindy had no interest in the stuff, but Chris could spend hours trying on the beads, fingering the dozens of little (sighs) charms, running her fingers over the plastic bracelets, jangling the earrings. Her jewelry collection always cheered her up. She shook her head again, making the long earrings jangle. A knock on the bedroom door made her spin around. Oh, yeah, it's just another word for costume jewelry. Okay. Nah, I don't believe you. I I need to (laughs) scroll down. All right. (laughs) Hey, Chris, how's it going? Her friend Cody Matthews stepped into the room. I just want to go on a brief tangent real quick. Why would you name your child Cody? That's not a grown-up person's name. He had straight white blonde hair and Chris pale gray told eyes and a, a person named Cody face. this one time to his face. Yeah, for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were with a person we a named Cody and you party. and you. Wouldn't stop giving him shit about what his name was. Uh, poor and he kept laughing, and I found out later on that he was not a fan of it. That's not super surprising. <laughs> I, asked you know. the, I asked the boy, because he was a boy. I asked the uh, boy! I asked him, I was like, okay, Cody, so like, uh, what's your middle name? And he was like, I think it was like Michael. And I was like, all right, so like, how many more years before you start going by Michael? <laughs> And he said, what? And I was like, Cody's not a grown-up person's name. And then I just continued to lay into him as yeah. he kept giving me weed for some reason. So, really, the, it's it's on him. Anyway. That's why you he were so like white. Sounds like he was pretty fucking chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was an asshole. He, he looked like he was having a good time. I just found it. But also, like, he's not dating my friend's sister anymore, so it doesn't fucking matter. Cody, wherever you are. Just, I hope you're doing okay. (laughs) Cody, wherever you are, I hope you've gone by Michael now. (laughs) He had straight white blonde hair and pale gray eyes and a slender, serious face. Cody always looked like as if he were deep in thought, or as if like a fart was about to come out. (laughs) 
You ride your bike over, Chris asked, removing several strands of beads at once and tossing them into the jewelry box. No, walked, Cody replied. Why'd you call? You just want to hang out? No, Chris jumped to her feet. She walked over to the chair by the window and grabbed Mr. Wood. I want to practice my act. I thought that said I want to practice my art at first, and I was like, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> my art. Cody groaned. Ugh, I'm the guinea pig? No, the audience. Come on. <laughs> she led him out to the bent old maple tree in the middle of her backyard. The afternoon sun was just beginning to lower itself in the clear spring blue sky. She raised one foot against the tree trunk and propped Mr. Wood on her knee. Cody sprawled on his back in the shade. Tell me if this is funny, she instructed. <laughs> okay, shoot, Cody replied, narrowing his eyes in concentration, <laughs> like you do when you're getting ready to see if something's funny or not. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get prepared. <laughs> Chris turned Mr. Wood to face her. Oh, her, okay. Chris oh, turned Mr. Yeah. Wood to face her. I was also confused. <laughs> she did this. Uh, how are you today? She asked him. Pretty good. Oh, wait, John, oh. this, is, this is all you. This okay. is all you. Pretty good, knock wood. <laughs> so he sings. No, because he's like a grunge. He's a grunge he's dummy. Grunge. Oh my god! He sounds like Eddie better. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> oh, 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 knock on wood. Damn it! How did I miss <laughs> that opportunity? She made the dummy say. <laughs> she 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 waited for Cody to laugh, but he he didn't. Um. But, uh, oh, I, I lost, I got lost in the, in the scroll <laughs> sauce. She waited for Cody to laugh, but he lost didn't. in the scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Was that funny, she asked. If you have to ask. I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> he replied without enthusiasm. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Chris lowered her head so that she was face to face with her dummy. Mr. Wood, she said. Why were you standing in front of the mirror with your eyes closed? It's like an interview. <laughs> well, answered the dummy in a, a high-pitched, squeaky voice. <laughs> I wanted to see what I'll look like when I'm asleep. <laughs> yes. Chris tilted the dummy said, and made him look as if he were laughing. How about that joke, she asked Cody. Cody shrugged. Better, I guess. Aw, oh, you're no help. <laughs> oh, you're no help! Chris screamed angrily. <laughs> she lowered her arms and Mr. Wood crumpled onto her lap. You're supposed to tell me if it's funny or not. Well, I guess not, Cody said thoughtfully. <laughs> Chris groaned. Uh, I need some good joke books. I'm not naturally funny, she said. That's all. Some good joke books with some really funny jokes. Then I'd be ready to perform because I'm a pretty good ventriloquist, right? Uh, I guess, Cody replied, <laughs> pulling up a handful of grass and letting the moist green blades sift through his fingers. It's very poetic. <laughs> what? Every once in a while, RL just like really hits us with... What I want to know, like, what's picture, Cody going know? through? Right? Moist blades. Moist yeah. blades. That's Mr. Wood's band name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blades. moist blades. Well, I don't move my lips very much, do I? Chris demanded. Not too much, Cody allowed. But you don't really throw your voice. No one can throw her voice, Chris told him. It's just an illusion. You make people think you're throwing your voice. You don't really throw it. What does that mean? Oh, Cody said, pulling up another handful of grass. Chris tried out several more jokes. I, which I don't get to fucking read. <laughs> it cut away. They weren't, weren't, weren't damn. putting down in print. Uh, 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 cut to after Chris Joke told montage. several more jokes. What do you think? She asked Cody. I think I have to go home. Chris, <laughs> Cody <laughs> said. He tossed a handful of grass at her. I don't oh, have any Jesus. tomatoes, so this will have to do. Chris brushed the green blades off Mr. Wood's wooden head. Fuck. 
She rubbed her hand gently over the dummy's painted red hair. You're hurting Mr. Wood's feelings, she told Cody. Cody climbed to his feet. Why do you want to mess with that thing anyway? He asked, pushing his white blonde hair back off his forehead. Because it's fun, Chris replied. Is that the real reason? Cody demanded, seeing right through her charade. (laughs) I guess I want to show Lindy that I'm better at it than she is. You two are weird, Cody declared. See you in school. (laughs) He gave her a little wave, then turned and headed for his home down the block. Chris pulled down the blankets and... Oh, sometime later. Chris pulled down the blankets. <laughs> After 100 more jokes. Climbed into bed. Pale moonlight filtered through the bedroom window. Yawning, she glanced at the clock radio. Nearly 10. She could hear Lindy brushing her teeth in the bathroom across the hall. Why does Lindy always hum when she brushes her teeth? Chris wondered. How can one twin sister do so many annoying things? Jesus. She gave Mr. Wood one It's almost last like glance. siblings really get on your nerves. Yeah. He was propped in the chair in front of a window, his hands carefully placed in his lap, his white sneakers hanging over the chair edge. He looks like a real person, Chris thought sleepily. (laughs) Why do you keep them fucking sitting in chairs in your bedroom? Why did her dad make them hold hands? That is a strange choice. That was a choice. He was like, this is going to be so funny. (laughs) Best dad of the year award. (laughs) Tomorrow I'm going to check out some good joke books from the library at school. I can be funnier than Lindy. I know I can. She settled back sleepily on her pillow. I'll be asleep as soon as we turn off the lights, she thought, because that fucking works. Mm -hmm. A few seconds later, Lindy entered the room wearing her nightshirt and carrying Slapper, Slappy, under one arm. I got a third ventriloquist dummy. His name's Slapper. (laughs) A few (laughs) seconds later, Lindy entered the room wearing her nightshirt and carrying Slappy under one arm. Hey, you asleep? (laughs) She asked Chris. (laughs) Almost, Chris replied, yawning loudly. I've been studying for the math final all night. Where have you been? Over at Alice's. I've just given up on voices. (laughs) Lindy told her, setting Slappy down in the chair beside Mr. Wood. Some kids were over, and I practiced my act for them. They laughed so hard, I thought they'd split a gut. When Slappy and I did our rap routine, oh, my Alice no. spit her chocolate milk out her nose. What a riot. Oh, I need to hear it. <laughs> That's nice, Chris said, without enthusiasm. <laughs> you want to hear the rap routine? It was, my name's Slappy, and, and I'm, I'm here, here to, to say, say yes! <laughs> I'm the slappiest dummy that you'll meet today. <laughs> Guess you and Slappy are ready for Abby's birthday party on Saturday. Yeah, Lindy replied. She placed Slappy's arm around Mr. Wood's shoulder. They look so cute together, she said. Then she noticed the clothing neatly draped over the desk chair. What's that? She asked Chris. Chris raised her head from the pillow to see what her sister was pointing out. My outfit for tomorrow, she told her. We're having a dress-up party in Mrs. F- in Miss Finch's class. Uh... It, whoop, it's a farewell party for. I almost said Margaret. I <laughs> also Margo. read it as Margaret. Marga. Mar- I don't know, Margo. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Where did the water come from? Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? <laughs> Todd. I don't know, Margo. You know, the student teacher. Lindy stared at the clothes. Your, oh wow. Your Ooh. Betsy Johnson skirt? Your silk blouse. What's a Betsy Johnson skirt? Betsy Johnson's a, a designer. It, it's like I mean, it's pretty much stuff. a tutu, oh, right? Like real cutesy stuff. Well, you both were just like, oh. I know, but then I was like, I don't actually know how to explain it. <laughs> but it's like real isn't cutesy, she all, right? Isn't she all tutus and, sh- and shit like that? She's like, um... Cindy oh, Lauper, it, not, but not Cindy yeah, Lauper. Yeah, kind of. It's, it, it's like, it's like um, really, really like loud, colorful, okay. like bright, it, bright colors and tool, but also kind of punk rock in a way, uh, like leopard very print 90s. and shit. All right. Oh, there's um, fucking tutus. Yeah, like roll. Yeah. Roll 90s. Roll 90s. Um, your Betsy Johnson skirt, your silk blouse. We're supposed to get really dressed up, Chris said, yawning. Can we go to sleep now? Yeah, sure. Lindy made her way to the bed, sat down, and clicked off the bedside table lamp. 
Are you getting any better with Mr. Wood? She asked, climbing between the sheets. <laughs> Chris was stung by the question. It was such an obvious put down. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting really good. I did some stuff for Cody out in the backyard. <laughs> Cody and just like, let's, so hard. let's pretend for one second they're not 12 year old girls and Mr. Wood is the name of a dildo because it's very <laughs> interchangeable. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I did some um, stuff for Cody out in the backyard. I'm getting really good. I did some stuff for Cody out in the backyard. <laughs> Cody came so hard he couldn't breathe. <laughs> really? He was holding his sides. He said Mr. Wood and I should be on TV. You know which channel. <laughs> you know, like on one of them blurry channels. Yeah, yeah. let's see what's happening. Within the corns. <laughs> <laughs> really? Lindy replied after a long moment's hesitation. That's weird. I never thought Cody had much of a sense of humor. He's always so grim. I don't think I've ever seen him laugh. Well, he was laughing at Mr. Wood and me, Chris insisted, wishing she were a better liar. <laughs> awesome, uh, Lindy muttered. I can't wait to see your act. Neither can I, Chris thought glumly. A few seconds later, they were both asleep. Seconds. Their mother's voice. Right. Seconds later, they were both asleep. Oh God, Is that what are like you being told? Taking whatever that? sleeping yeah, right? pill these 12-year-olds are on. <laughs> <laughs> was their in mother's... The <laughs> their parents Children's are just ambient. slowly poisoning them. <laughs> 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 their mother's voice, calling from downstairs, awoke them at 7 the next morning. Bright morning orange sunlight poured in through the window. That's a very weird way to put it. Oh, good. Last chapter. I mean, last page. Chris could hear birds chirping happily in the old maple tree. <laughs> Rise and oh, shine. What was it? <laughs> Ask Slappy. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Every morning, Mrs. Powell shouted the same words. Oh, shout Rise and shine. Rise and shine. She feels like a cartoon <laughs> hen at this point. <laughs> Chris rubbed the sleep exactly. from her eyes, then stretched her arms high over her head, you know, like in a cartoon, the way you wake up. She glanced across the room, then uttered a quiet gasp. <gasps> hey, what's going on? She reached across Lindy's bed and shook Lindy by the shoulder. Oh, what's going on? Huh? Lindy, startled, sat straight up. What's the joke? Where is he? Chris demanded. Huh? Chris pointed the chair across the room. <laughs> Sitting straight up in the chair, Slappy grinned back at them, bathed in morning sunlight. But Mr. Wood was gone. Where did Mr. Wood go? Seattle. <laughs> the wood shipper? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. wow. I love this book. It's great. This is fucking awesome. What's going to happen, I wonder? Uh, I really hope Slappy talks more in his italic... Uh, scary voice. Scary voice. I can't remember the last Goosebumps book we read, but I feel like this one's going pretty hard um, out of the gates. The last one we read was Let's Get Invisible, which blew, because the only thing that happened in that entire book was... So with the mirror. Children got he invisible. He combed his attic. hair a lot. Yeah. He, the he the combed attic. his hair? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. it's great for holding shape. Um. <laughs> what? Am I missing something? No. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Um. No. There's yeah, something about Slappy. Awesome. This one. There's something about <laughs> Slappy. This one is awesome. I remember. It's been forever since we've read a Goosebumps book, but I remember the last. I think several Goosebumps books we read being very like kind of like blah, mm -hmm. like eh. Um. Because the invisible one was terrible. Mm -hmm. There was Say She's and Die with the yeah. weird camera that told the future. That um, one was fun for a minute, and then it got kind of repetitive. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was going to say, a lot of them are fun <laughs> at the beginning, and then they get really boring. Yeah. So I'm like crossing I my fingers. I feel like it would be the one good episode out of this book. Yeah. yeah. I, f I, feel like, uh, I feel like this one's iconic for a reason. Like, yeah. I got a good feeling about this one. Slappy's like the mascot of Goosebumps yeah. for a reason. So maybe we're in for a treat. Yeah. A slappy treat. We're in for a slap. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe, thank you for being on this episode. How did you, what did you think? 
Oh man. Yeah, I you know, I think it's off I think it's off to a great start. We've got fake jump scares, we've got violence, we've got <laughs> danger. <laughs> we have mean children. Mean, horrible, horrible children, yeah. But it's moving so right along. Children. I mean, it could be because I'm thinking of the those like the Fear Street books that mm-hmm. are that like drag a bit and are more like yeah. trying to capture the like tween romance drama that like is kind of miserable mm-hmm. <laughs> sometimes. Um, this one, this one's like keeping up the pace a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I do feel like even some of the Goosebumps books have like dragged because like you said, they just get really repetitive. And so far, this one has been moving it. Yeah. Like we read more than I thought we were going to because I was just like, this book is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most yeah. of the chapters end with, and what was that noise? And then the next chapter uh, starts with, it was the dog. Yep. <laughs> Every yeah. time. Every time. Well, Joe, is there anything you want listeners to know about you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anything you have to plug? Stuff to plug you or want? fun facts that yeah. you want to share with the class. Is there anything you want to know about yourself when you listen to this? Because you're one of our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, you're you're doing great. Just <laughs> just each day, one step closer to being. A moss, a moss and lichen on the forest floor. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that uh, whole internet thing where apparently it's pronounced lichen. What? And not lichen. What did... It's always been pronounced it was... lichen. I thought it was lichen. Never heard it said out loud. Interesting. Well, the... Until I saw a meme pointing out that I was an idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, Everybody, I think everybody has one of those, the wor- words that you oh, yeah. read before you heard out loud and you you fucked it all up famously brian's was the word a w r y all right what did he say yeah did he say ari uh-huh. awesome <laughs> i'm gonna make fun That's of him so next much time worse than mine mine was a uh, uh, bed rag bed raggled i i have oh. never forgotten that i i read bedraggled like bed raggled now since you told me that now i'm gonna read ari i don't know yeah <laughs> I don't know where it is, but no, I, like, no, I'm still I gonna saved... read Rai correctly. <laughs> I saved the audio it's clip of letters. you saying bedraggled in front of me because, like, you can hear my brain like breaking when you're like bedraggled. It still works. <laughs> it's if anything, it's, 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 it's more sort of it is fun. It's, onomatopoetic if it you is. say it bedraggled. <laughs> yeah. That's re- it really hits. Like yeah. I, I really appreciate that. For all we do, Ari, that Ari is just stupid. Ari, Ari is just stupid. Ari's stupid, <laughs> Ari's stupid <laughs> and he should feel stupid. <laughs> I, as soon as we're done recording this, I want you to go into the room where he's playing Baldur's Gate. Kick the door in. said you're stupid because you thought it was Ari. <laughs> Be like, I told the I world how you pronounced Ari, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that is he is not participating and that means he's gonna get fucking dragged. Yeah. He's gonna get bed That's raggled. what he gets for being he's sick. Get bed raggled, that sick ass, sick idiot. That sick ass <laughs> religion. That's what I want. That's what I wanted to share with the listeners is well, to well, drag you know, Brian. <laughs> you know, maybe we shouldn't judge. Maybe his immune system went awry. <laughs> yes. Oh God! Find Very us good. at podcast uh, cactusradio dot com slash podcast. Uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, we've got an email. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just, just follow <laughs> wow. us on shit. Don't email us. Don't just email us. Um, great, show us great. other ways well, of reaching us. She Send us messages on other social media. Uh, cactusradio dot com. Check it out. Listen to the podcast. Do all the stuff. Uh, come back next time to find out what happens with Lindy and Chris. Which uh, here, if you if you are listening and you want to write us uh, write in, um, what are you, Team Chris or Team Lindy, or are you a total rogue and you're Team Slappy? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I'm Team Dad. I- after he made that <laughs> sick burn, that was good. Yeah, Team I'm Dad Team is Mr. Good. Wood. Yeah, oh, Mr. Yeah. Wood. <laughs> Going missing in Slappy's bedroom. (laughs) (laughs) He probably murdered me. (laughs) 
I'm just a doom here. Okay, we gotta stop. Uh, of all the episodes for Brian Wade. <laughs> oh my god, all right? <laughs> <laughs> we should get him back. I was gonna say, maybe, maybe, maybe by <laughs> the time we record the next episode, he's not feeling, he's feeling fine and he can be our guest. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, well, well, bring him back the starter for the finale. That's something we haven't done in a while. Oh, that'd be fun. Mm, yeah. Yes. You know, okay, but like, the whole middle of I was going to say, Mr. Wood's going to be dead in like the next. I was going to say. Yeah. Mr. Wood's not long <laughs> for this world. He's going to be Sh- in yeah, surely Mr. Oh, Wood will be fine. he's going to be oh. in the dumpster. <laughs> the dumpster. The dumpster. Dumpsters, dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of uh, Below Great Level brought to you by Dumpsters, Dumpsters. <laughs> you got a problem? Dumpsters, Dumpsters. <laughs> For when you were wondering what those rolly bins are supposed to be called. Wheelie bins. Whatever. <laughs> we love Sorry you. To all Thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye. 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 Fuck our UK listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Hot take. Fuck your wheelie bins. Hot take. Below grade level is a Cactus Radio production. You can contact us at podcast at cactusrodeo.com. Subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, and follow Cactus Rodeo on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more entertainment and updates.